What's my biggest dream? It's a deep question for a, a you now at 12.20 at night. I guess my biggest dream is to just like entertain people, but also just to be good at what I do, like to be respected for what I do. So whether it's acting or singing or both or YouTube vlogging or all of the above, I just want to be like respected as a, oh, like, oh yeah, Troy Sivan, he's pretty good at that. That would be insane. Hi guys. Okay, so I don't have anything fancy today. I actually uploaded yesterday, I know. I am feeling very, very like weird and weepy and like just super, super, super grateful. Ever since I was a little kid, I have had literally one single dream. I didn't ever want to be a fireman, I never wanted to be a vet, I never wanted to be a superhero. I wanted to be a singer, I wanted to be like Michael Jackson. And so when I was like five, I started trying to work towards being Michael Jackson. I did like school talent shows to like slightly bigger school talent show and then I did a TV performance in Perth and it was like a really, really big deal to me. Then when I was like 12, I found this new website called YouTube. And I found this girl on the website and I commented on her video and I was like, Hey, my name's Troy, I'm 12 years old and when I'm older I want to be a singer. And she replied and she was like, you should upload a YouTube video. Hey guys, it's Troy Sivan And so I did one of those direct uploads, I used like my shitty webcam and I started recording a video and I sung and it got like a thousand views. And so I kept making videos and that's where you guys started joining me along the way. And I started to like feel this really real, real connection between you guys and myself. And so I kept that going and, and things started to get bigger than than I had ever intended them to be. And then one day I read a book called The Fault in Our Stars by John Green and I got really, really sad and started to cry and I was like, okay, how can I deal with this emotion that this book is making me feel? And so I started writing a song. I made a music video for the song with some of the most incredible people that I've ever met and uploaded the video to you guys, the people that I had grown so close to. And like a week later, I got an email in my inbox. It was an email from EMI Australia asking if I had ever thought about making music my career. And so I went away and I made my first EP TRXYE and it just went bananas. And then after TRXYE, I started working on just songs. I just started writing and I kind of used these songs as like a kind of a form of a diary for me and just started writing about anything that was going on in my life. I took six of the songs and I released them in a mini album called Wild. And then I think the next thing that I had to start thinking about was playing live. I haven't really sung live since I was like 15. And then all of a sudden I'm 20. I'm in Seattle in America across the world. And I'm like, holy fuck, I'm about to go out and I'm about to sing live for the first time. And I walk out onto the stage, probably the most nervous I've ever been. And I saw all of your faces and heard all of you scream and started singing the first line of bite and couldn't even hear myself because you guys were singing so loudly. And I was like, Feel like fucking Michael Jackson right now. But all of it, all of it, I'm talking about like school talent show to like waxing my legs with Soella on the internet to my becoming you video to TRXYE to Wild. All of it has been leading up to December 4 when my album Blue Neighborhood came out and I'm going on Jimmy Fallon in a couple of days. I want to do this so badly, not only for myself anymore, not only for my selfish dream of wanting to be like Michael Jackson, but I want to do this for you guys. You guys have just been so there and so supportive that I'm like, fuck yeah, we can become Michael Jackson. I think I've realized that in the back of my mind, all that I really care about is making the people that I care about really proud. And that's what Sebevi is about. Have you heard me on the radio? Did you turn it up? someone come in here who we know in our heart of hearts is going to be huge and make a big impact on this business we already know it you have it congratulations